Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren, and today I'm doing something a little bit different because I got a new camera. Uh, I got the current camera that I'm using for Christmas, and I picked it up myself, and I thought that I knew what I was doing, but it really just doesn't have everything that I need, and I would like something that's a little bit better quality and shoots better videos. This says it's in 1080p, but from the videos that I've uploaded, I know that it's not looking the greatest. So we got this baby, the Sony A3000, and I'm currently using the Sony DSC HX80. I love it because the screen flips up so I can see myself when I'm talking, but I also think that's super distracting because I'm constantly looking above the camera, and I know how annoying that is when I see other people doing it. So hopefully this will help me out on that front. Another thing that I'm not too fond about with this camera is that it's a point and shoot. So literally just point and shoot and there's nothing really that you can do settings wise. Uh, I can tinker with a couple little things here and there but nothing near to what I can do with this. Uh, I have opened this box already because I was too excited to wait but I figured I would do an unboxing for you guys and show you a little bit of the footage in comparison to this camera and tell you what I like about it. I'm not a huge camera person, so I don't know all the lingo and whatnot. So if you want an honest review of this, uh, keep watching. Hey guys, so this is now my new camera and it should be doing face recognition for me. So my background should be a little bit more blurred than you were seeing in the last shots and it should be a lot clearer now. You should be able to see all the imperfections on my face, which is wonderful but awful at the same time. And I just thought I would show you guys what it looks like uh, just having someone look at the camera. When I was looking for a camera, I just wanted to see people's faces and what they look like in comparison to their old cameras, and I couldn't find a whole lot with this camera, so it kind of sucked, but I clearly made the right decision anyway, so I just thought I should show you guys what it kind of looks like with someone's face and then I will also go outside show you a couple inside shots as well and do comparisons with my old camera versus this one side by side so you can definitely see the difference with those. We are unboxing the Sony A3000. First things first when you open it up there's a bunch of paperwork and really who's got time to read that all oh, there's a lot of it. I've read a couple things in here just to know if it was what I was looking for. Um, the biggest difference between this camera and the camera that I have now is that this has a removable lens, which I really like because I can always upgrade the lens if I want to later on, whereas the point and shoot that I'm using now, I cannot do that. So when you open it up, there's a strap, and you can attach this to the lens uh, charger, and then the camera itself. So the lens is already on there because I put it on there, but it also comes with a cover for the lens. Um, one thing that I do really like about this is the grip on the side. You can literally just hold it and I am not worried about it falling or anything like that. Um, the screen is stationary. It does have a viewfinder, movie button, and the controls are super basic on this compared to the camera that I'm using now. So it is super easy for someone that doesn't really know a whole lot about cameras. So it does zoom out quite a lot manually, but nowhere near as much as my current camera does. I think I have 30 times zoom on my current camera, which is really good for a point and shoot. Um, so all you do to take the lens off is you click this little button on the side, twist it, and it comes off, and you can interchange the lens as much as you want. Of course, I'm not going to do that a whole lot because I don't want dust to get in it and wreck my camera. Again, the controls are pretty basic. We don't got a whole lot of fancy stuff going on here. So again, if you really don't know what you're doing, this is a great starter camera for you. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And already you can see it's working great. Um, you touch display, you can go into camera. I've already set up all my settings for how I like them, so I'm not gonna mess around with them too much. But you can see there's drive mode, flash mode, 
um, autofocus, manual select. The nice thing about this camera is that when you stall and pause on um, a word, it'll give you an explanation of what it does, which is really, really nice if you don't know what you're doing. So it has tracking, focus, autofocus that you can change to manual. It uh, has face uh, detection, face registration, smile, shutter, auto object framing, soft skin effect, shooting tip list. So it gives you a bunch of tips on how to shoot for the things that you need. A bunch of different things that you can mess around with. But it is very basic when you first go to the starter menu. It has camera, image size, brightness, slash color, playback, and setup. So if you're looking for something that has a lot of bells and whistles, this is probably not the camera for you. Um, another thing that I did really like on this camera is that it has the um, SD card and charger in the side, whereas the one that I have now has it on the bottom. So when I attach it to my tripod, I have to take it off the thing that attaches it to my tripod, which just screws into the bottom here, and I have to do that to take out the SD card every time. Well, it does record in 920 by 1080 and that's exactly what I need for my videos because the camera that I have now says that it's in 1080, but I don't believe that it is. I know there's something that I could do to mess around with the settings, but I'm just not that great, again, with cameras. And this has everything that I need automatically. It's very, very, very easy to use. I love it. And I'm going to be showing you guys some footage comparisons with um, my old camera and this camera. situation just in a room with no lights on I'm standing right by the door though so there is some light coming in it as you can see on this side of my face not necessarily the side of my face kind of like Phantom of the Opera Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe to my channel so I know to make more stuff like this in the future and I will see you guys next week.